Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a factor from a character vector, explicitly name the levels of the factor, and finally how to drop levels of the factor that you don't need. Okay, so let's really quickly get into this. So let's start by creating a vector, um, a character vector. So just for simplicity's sake, let's just call this uh, marital. Let's let's create a marital status. Like, are you single? Are you married? Um, are you, um, or perhaps other? Right. Let's just throw other in there so that we can um, have something to play with. So very quickly, I'm going to use the repeat function, which is not really the point of this tutorial, but uh, maybe it's something that you are interested in learning about. So very quickly, I'm going to repeat these. I'm going to pre repeat married three times, single five times, and other ten times. Okay. Let's just take a look at MS. There we go. You can count these and I have three married, five single, and ten other. Perfect. I have myself a vector of a length, seems like 18. Uh, it's a character vector. I can very quickly look at that and see that. Um, I want to convert it to a factor. So let me just make an MS2 so I don't override just in case I make a mistake. So I'm going to create a factor from MS. Let's just see what happens if I just leave it as default. I see now, well, let's take a look. First off, this is a factor. The class is a factor in R. Uh, and also take just take a look at the results here. Okay. Um, we see with the same looking vector, we lose the uh, quotations, right? This is what uh, f factors are stored a little bit more efficiently, right, than, than character vectors. Uh, there's m many reasons to create factors, but I'll leave that aside. And we see we get levels here. That's something you don't get with, with a, a character vector. And so the way the, the levels are selected, if we create a factor the way we did, is that R will do them uh, in, in alphabetical order. So this becomes effectively 1, 2, and 3. Okay? First, uh, first, because uh, M comes before O, O becomes before S. Sometimes you don't want that order. So if you want control over that, uh, we'll go back to this step MS2 where we create MS2, and we'll add this argument levels, where we're going to now explicitly specify our levels. So let's let's say let's make other first, <coughs> single second, and uh, married last, almost like reversing them. Okay. Now let's hit enter. We'll take a look at MS2. It's obviously still going to be a factor, but just take a look at what changed. Nothing changed as far as the content of that vector. It's still a character vector. Uh, still, we have married, mar first, and other, last. That that doesn't change the order of anything. But what we did change is we made other level one single mar level two and married level three. Why would you want to do this? Well, if you're running hypothesis tests, if you're running any kind of uh, modeling, uh, like let's say a regression model, and you want to use uh, marital status as one of the um, uh, uh, cofactors, one of the indicators perhaps, you may want to choose a little more, uh, something a little bit more um, straightforward as your dummy as your or baseline for your dummy uh, uh, variable whatever the reason you can control this okay so so that's how you do that now what I want to get to is this last step is I want to talk about how do you drop levels so for example this other I set this up because I wanted to eventually show you how to drop it these others let's say I don't want them Let's say they're nonsense and I don't want to deal with them. How can I, first off, identify them and then get rid of them? So as far as identifying them, I can just do like a uh, function called drop levels. Yeah. And drop levels MS2, I can specify which levels I want to exclude. And I can do multiple or just one. Let's just remove other. And if I do this, you can see all the others turn to NAs. 
okay that's great not available right uh, that's that's one way to drop them but what if I want to go a step further and I don't want these NAs in here right so there's a function called is NA okay so what is NA is gonna do if you allow me to just wrap what we did in the previous step with is NA you're gonna see that we, I get a logical vector and I get false is wherever I didn't have an NA and then true is where I did have an NA okay great I actually want to keep the falses and I want to drop the trues if you think about it right I can also make that a little bit more direct by adding an exclamation in front of the is NA and that is basically saying is not NA and you'll see that that logical vector flips to trues where I did not have an NA and false is where I did have an NA great now how do I take these trues and falses and actually just get back to what I wanted which is I want to end up with a vector that is only including these guys and none of these guys okay so one more step should do it I take this guy and I put him in the square brackets of MS2 and this way all the falses drop off as you can see okay so that's one way to kind of control these things um, another thing you can do is you may notice that uh, even though we've cleaned up the actual factor here this actual vector we still have on their levels other appearing okay so what we should do here is let's let's finalize this and clean this up let's call this ms3 so we can see the progress here okay that's great ms3 that's great same problem and now let's do drop levels so we'll do ms3 drop levels ms3 and this time we're gonna just exclude other and even though nothing happens to the actual factor you'll see that we lost other here right there's no other all right and now we have a cleaned up version of our factor excluding the NAs excluding other uh, both in the actual vector and in the levels so I hope this was helpful uh, it at least gets you a little bit more flexible with how to create factors and kind of manipulate them uh, be sure to subscribe like and share and check out the 500 plus other tutorial videos on Jalair Academy have a great day